Hello everybody, this is Trike as always, and we are playing more Wargroove. That's right. A plug of skeletons, the fell home invasion begins in earnest. Wow, that la that is so loud. No. So we're here with uh Mercia and her Tudor? The kingdom's overrun with Philhim soldiers. We have to do something. Mm -hmm. We will hold what land we can. Hmm. Maybe if we... <laughs> Not so fast. Huh? Who are you? <laughs> I'm the person that's going to smash, smash, and pulverize you. Call me Ragnar! Uh... Very well. All right. Okay. She is insane. Oh no. They're capturing our fort. Our town. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? The Felm Horus just captured a village to the west. They'll attempt to claim the neutral village to the east unless we stop them. And let's stop. Yes. Them. Luckily, a cherry stone ranger is here to help us. Rangers are the units that can attack enemies from a distance. Let's move into a position from where it can attack any approaching undead. Sounds good. Really? You want to put it there? Okay. From this position, our ranger can attack any enemies approaching from the west. Very well. When you want to end your turn, select an unoccupied tile and select end turn. Let's look at these guys. Good against the uh, swordsman too, as well. Okay. Move three has a range of three tiles. Okay. Able to move and attack in the same turn. Critical hit when stationary. Ah. So if you don't move, you'll actually get a critical tip. Cool. Uh, we have zero monies. So we can't actually buy anything. But these will give us 200 next turn. And that doesn't have to give us any money, so cool. Turn two. Mm -hmm. And now, but we're not gonna move, we can critical hit it, I guess. Okay, remember, you need to check the unit. Yeah, I know, I already did. Good, then you'll know the ranger's crit if they don't attack with them, if they attack with them moving. We'll attack the dread sword with him moving this ranger right now. They're really babying us through this, aren't they? Oh my gosh, game. Attack. Even as a critical hit, it still barely killed them. 101%. Yeah. We did it. We may have defeated the soldiers, but it's not over yet. The enemy owns a barracks and will enable them to recruit new units. Unfortunately we, have ac fortunately, we have access to barracks of our own. Just select it to recruit a new unit at once. Da, da, da. This is basically identical to uh, Advanced Force. This barracks lets you recruit three different unit types. Although, uh, we didn't have crits in uh, Advanced Force. Swordsmen, pikemen, and rangers. That's right. But uh, due to our current funds, I can only afford a swordsman right now. I think a swordsman can make a big difference, so let's recruit one now. Oh, you get to pick around so it doesn't spawn on the spot. Okay, cool. So you could actually recruit um, several units in one turn. That is different from Advanced Wars. Know that each barracks can only recruit- oh. Well, what? What? What's the point of letting us select the direction then? They just spawn on top of it. It's a needless complexity. Alright. Select your new swordsman in order to move and capture the village. Wow, he can move far, huh? Oh, you only have to move beside it. You don't actually have to go on top of it. Alright. I also noticed that the other village has been gaining strength over time. Excellent work, my queen. 
villages bring in 100 gold every turn, so it's incredibly important to our war effort. Right. Because more gold means we can recruit more units. Correct. In fact, we cripple the enemy's income by taking their villages. Village yes! Away. Capture a village that is owned by a different faction, we must first defeat it. Mm. I'll recruit more units straight away and order them to wear that village. Some units are more effective than others at defeating structures such as villages. I advise you to rely on Pikeman's powerful crit for this job. Okay, so they want us to uh, have two pikemen then, essentially. Which is gonna take a couple turns, but. Oh, you can go over the mountain, huh? I am probably gonna want them to go toward the enemy, so. There's no reason to keep them there, since we're gonna go across the bridge. <laughs> enemy reinforcements to the north. Oh. They'll no doubt be heading toward your northern villages. Should have known they would have made wouldn't make this easy for us. So I suggest you don't leave the northern part unattended. I'll make sure to leave a unit to protect the northern villages. Well, I guess that's them saying hint hint nudge nudge use your fucking Use this person. Can I see what their movement is? Four. Two, three, four, okay. Um, one, two, three, four. All right, that's fine. We'll just stay where we are then. I mean, they can attack these squares here. Um, I think I'll use him just to soften this guy up. Because I don't want the pikemen to take damage for right now. And you're just going to stay right there. Okay. After all, I'm not gonna leave. I'm not actually gonna charge forward with that soldier. He's just gonna go back here. Can't quite get to the uh, town. That sucks. But... Oh, it, pay it costs money to reinforce. But you don't have to be on it to get healed. That's kind of cool, actually. Oh, bollocks. Eh, you know what? It doesn't matter because I can just use him. I don't have to use pikeman for this. Fine. God, the pikemen are actually slow. They can only move three, not four. Oh, it reduces their strength if you do that. Ah, so there's there is a limit to being able to do that, huh? Rangers are 500, so I could have just bought another ranger if I really wanted to, but. Okay, this is fine. Wait. So these guys. Uh, hold on. Yeah, that's fine. There's no point in me attacking the base right now, so. I don't know if they judge you based on turns. I assume they do because of uh, Advanced Wars, but. This should be mostly fine. I'll use the soldier to finish that guy off. Wow, were they smart enough to. Uh... They were. They didn't go into uh, attack range of my ranger. Did 
two, three. All right. Fortunately, um, you know what? It really doesn't matter. They're not gonna be able to kill me, so taking damage is irrelevant. I might be able to kill my ranger, but we will see. We don't need to get concern ourselves too heavily with getting crits all the time. I'm gonna put him over here so he doesn't get attacked by. I'm just gonna ignore that swordsman, I think. I can't actually do anything to her. Shit. I'd rather take this silver first. Hey, hey, hey. It's ours! What? How did this happen? <laughs> Excellent, you've cleared the enemy from the village. You should capture it to secure it before. Okay. Oh, I actually have to step onto it now after, huh? Alright. Guess that's a thing. They're not going to be able to capture it in one turn, so it doesn't matter. Should be 60-40. 60-30, okay. We'll get a feel for how much damage things do when, when at full health and when damaged, etc. Without too much issue. After. I don't know why defeating it doesn't capture it immediately. No, oh, well done. With no villages, the enemy has no income. Mm -hmm. You'll notice that with a captured structure, it never begins with full health. In fact, it starts with the equivalent of half the capturing unit's health. Uh -huh. If you know with 40% health capture the village, it starts with 20. Okay. You should destroy their barracks. Clean yeah. them from the region. All right. There you go. I did this kind of incorrectly. You know, it's fine. They don't even do one bar of health to us, so... Hey, hey, hey. And I'm pretty sure this guy over here can't reach us, yeah. So we are good to... Squeezy. Going here and going here are functionally equivalent. Oh. Yeah, no, he can't. He can step on that. Um. I need people to get over there quickly, so. Move three. So soldiers are actually faster than rangers. It seems a little backwards to me, not gonna lie. Uh, do I care about these guys? They are irrelevant. I actually forgot that that uses up health. Oops. Uh, he could attack this and try and take it back. Don't block him. This is more defense than just the uh, ground here, but... Oh well. Will we get will we not get an S rank if we uh lose a unit though? Good question. 
We do, yeah, he's gonna kill me no matter what, so, uh... And he, uh, uh he, he can attack our pikemen. I don't know if he actually will or not. I'm, I'm curious to see what the AI will do if given the choice to attack the, uh, it will, okay. That's fine, because he doesn't have to capture it. You see. So I can basically just take it right back. No big deal. Oh, you can hold it down to skip the animation. Okay, cool. I think it's better just to um, do this, actually. Even if we don't get the credit, it doesn't matter. slow though. Oh wow, they attacked him for some reason. I guess because he has less defensive advantage. But alright, sure. But this now sets us up to do this. We do take quite a bit of damage back from doing that. Unfortunately, can't quite kill it this turn. Okay. I want this guy to move out of the way, I guess. We'll do it in two steps here. Good work. <sighs> I said, go away. So far, the heroes haven't actually been on the map yet. Oh, it's you. Yeah. Uh. Didn't mean to disturb you. You didn't disturb me. I was lying in wait. Huh. Uh huh. Right. Shut up. That. Ugh! Okay. Yeah, we we uh, kind of took a little long there. It's fine. You unlocked Felham in the Codex. Awesome. Well, uh, I guess that's that's the episode, guys. I guess in the next episode we'll do. Act 1, Mission 3. Very exciting. Can't wait till we actually get to, you know, unlock all the mechanics and just do regular matches, but we're getting there. <laughs>